Dear colleagues, dear friends, good evening. I so wish to be with you today for this important discussion on the levelling of the law to discuss and learn about different initiatives tackling discrepancies that hinder substantive equality between women and men. Admittedly, it's not just the discussions that are meaningful tonight, but the choice of venue by Global Citizen, Chime for Change, and the Australian government makes the event unmissable for any avid reader and lover of libraries. Sadly, though, as a result of an accident I had recently, my physical presence is not possible. Instead, I am sending you this brief video message. At the 2015 Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, Malta was proud to host the first ever Commonwealth Women's Forum. Yet, as our Prime Minister himself acknowledged, the forum also served as a stark reminder of how much still needs to be done to bring full equality between women and men. In the Commonwealth alone, at least 39 countries still have laws on their books that discriminate in one way or another against women and girls. This explicit representation of gender inequality and discrimination under the law is one of the harshest barriers women face and one of the most difficult to dismantle. This is why in our capacity as Chair of the Commonwealth, Malta is committed to driving this issue onto the political and public agenda and raising it in our discussions with other member states. Of course, we also need to confront our own discrepancies. That is why, on Women's Day a few days ago, I launched a package of legislative amendments aimed at fully implementing the provisions of the Council of Europe Convention on Preventing and Combating Violence Against Women and Domestic Violence. This package will see changes to a whole set of laws, including the strengthening of the Domestic Violence Act through an extension to cover gender-based violence and strengthen the commission that supervises it. Amendments to the Victims of Crime Act to extend the definition of victim to cover gender-based victims. Amendments to the Criminal Code to protect victims and address perpetrators of violence through various sanctions, as well as to repeal archaic articles that while long out of use, remain in the code to this day, sending the wrong signal domestically and internationally. Also, amendments to the civil code to stop obliging victims of domestic violence to face their perpetrator in mediation proceedings prior to their separation or divorce. Further, I am pleased to be able to add my name on behalf of my government to Global Citizens' Declaration to level the law and urge all of you to do likewise. Only by eliminating gender discrimination under the law will we be able to realize the full economic potential of all women and girls and in turn reap the many positive benefits to society that this entails. As current Commonwealth Chair, Malta will be an ally for Global Citizens' Campaign and continue to champion gender equality under the law. As Chair, we have a responsibility to ensure that the Commonwealth reflects gender equal values. And this is an important first step to put this issue on the radar as a priority for action for all Commonwealth countries. Thank you once again to Global Citizen and Chime for Change for organising today's event. I look forward to working with you all in the months ahead to ensure all girls and women have the opportunity to achieve their full potential. I send my best regards to you all and wish you a thought-provoking discussion.